So today is Sunday and we are at the Sangam area and uh, I'm going to show you the main places around over here. Uh, how it looks during normal times then uh, what it is there during the Mark Mela times and uh, uh, since it is a Sunday so you can get an estimate of the crowd over here it's a typical Sunday and uh, people come from far and wide they maybe come on a Saturday evening then camp over here and then come to visit Sangam or uh, they come Sunday early morning and they visit the areas around now the first place which you see in the front is this fort or uh, what is called Kila in the local language and just next to it is the boat terminus or the ferry point or uh, in the local language it is called Kila Ghat from here you get boats which can go across the river to the Ghat which is seen in the front that is Arel Ghat so Arel Ghat is another beautiful Ghat on the banks of the river Yamuna just opposite Sangam so these boats ferry you around from this point to the other point now the rates uh, of the ferry start anything between 20 rupees sometimes maybe even 10 rupees but today is a Sunday so don't expect anything less than 50 100 or sometimes it might run into uh, day two or three uh, digit zeros uh, do uh, do bargain and do uh, ask uh, different boatmen because there are sufficient number of boats available and always remember uh, before negotiating the price this is a purely manual job and they use uh, physical effort to uh, row the boat so uh, you should give them their labors too so these are the boats and then uh, in front of you something very interesting these are the two machines which have been procured by the government for uh, cleaning up the Ganga river <coughs> these days the level of the river is not too much so uh, they are banked near the shore otherwise uh, they are moving in this general area cleaning up the river so on the river banks you find the sloping banks and the boat standing right here the next important place which you should know is the parking so right in front of you is the parking for Sangam area now this parking is different than the one which is there behind it requires some kind of effort to reach here because of the traffic so you will find all kind of parkings even buses are standing over here <coughs> let us move on to the next point So this is the second parking and over here mostly you will find uh, four wheelers though you might find a couple of buses over there so this is the vip ghat point over here you will find a kind of uh, pathway and a setup made and the other difference between this point and any other point is that here you will find motorized boats so this is the only place where you will find these boats uh, they are powered boats they take the same uh, visit to Sangam in a much faster time but they are only allowed in this place and most of them are run by the government and the local authorities <laughs> Oh, we are lucky to find a boat over here so it basically is a very basic structure with some nice graphics and the painting this boat i think is getting a fresh coat of paint 
and some maintenance being carried out. So behind us in this area, the VIP ghat comes up over here and this area is cordoned off during the Magh Mela. And between Kila Ghat and the VIP ghat, you have got a second place which is made over here. On similar lines as a pathway going to the boats. So this is the Yamuna River in the front. It is moving uh, towards the left side, that is this side to meet the Ganga river at the Sangam point. And these are the important places on Yamuna river which you should know about right next to the fort. For the next part we'll have to move ahead. In the distance we can see the Sangam area. It is a quite a walk from here, though the walk is supposed to be quite interesting. The next important place that you guys should know about is this point. Now uh, this is the exact spot of Sangam. So in Magh Mela during the months of January, February, December maybe. This area is flooded with water and this is the river bank where you see the boats. But what happens uh, somewhere in April, May that the water recedes. So what you can see now in front of us is open ground and uh, the Sangam point is pushed a few hundred meters uh, deep inside the river bed. So this is the point straight ahead where we are going to go. This is the exact point of Sangam, the tip uh, of the place where the two rivers meet. Now because of the summer season the river has receded but you can see a clear demarcation of the dry and the wet sand. So it is this part where the Yamuna river meets the Ganga river. The Yamuna river comes from the right side and the Yamuna from the left and they both meet at Sangam. So because it is April, May month, the river has receded in the far distance where the Sangam is now located. Another point on Sangam is marked as Mundan Ghat. This is the place where people uh, shave their torso and then they go for a dip in the uh, in the Sangam area. So shaving your hair is another important and significant religious ritual. So there are all these small uh, sheds made over here where the people sit, offer their prayers, first they shave their head, then they go and uh, perform their bathing rituals in Sangam and then they come back over here. This place also has the Pind Ghat. Pind is, a, is another religious ritual related to our ancestors. So there are a different set of prayers and these two things are usually combined together. So people come from far and wide to this place to also perform this very important religious ritual which is related to their ancestors. And it is believed that the soul of the ancestors, it is, it is their demand of the soul of the ancestors that their living descendants perform these religious rituals.